The Nebraska crop budgets are published online as both PDF and Excel worksheet files. The PDF version is probably the easiest to download and view. However, the Excel version provides users with the ability to modify budgets, making it possible for the producers to make them resemble their operations more closely. This video explains the basics of how users may modify these Excel files. In this example, the Excel file that contains the corn budgets will be downloaded. Procedures demonstrated here will be similar for all Excel crop budget files. Due to the differences between operating systems and web browsers, things may appear different in this video than on your computer. This browser shows the downloaded file near the bottom of the monitor. Clicking on it will open the Excel file providing you have an appropriate version of Microsoft's Excel program on your computer. My computer shows the warning message. Protected view. Be careful. Files from the Internet can contain viruses. Unless you need to edit, it's safer to stay in protected view. However, if you want to edit these budgets, you must enable editing. My browser then shows a security warning because these files have macros. The corn budgets are the only spreadsheets that use macros, so this warning is only on the files for corn budgets. One of the macros calculates nitrogen use, given expected yield. The other calculates corn seed, given expected yield. You do not have to enable the macros unless you want to use these features. If you don't enable the macros, you will have to manually enter values for nitrogen use and corn seed planted. The Excel budget spreadsheets are color-coded. The cells colored blue use a drop-down menu to enter data. The only entries these cells will accept are those items listed in the drop-down menu. Adding items to these drop-down menus will be demonstrated later in this video. Information may be entered into cells colored yellow. This data will be used in the calculations. All of the functions used for calculations are in cells with a white background. Data can also be added to these cells because these spreadsheets are not protected. If you add data into a cell with a white background, the functions residing there will be overwritten by the data, so the worksheet will not function as designed. A user may need additional rows in the field operations or material and services sections. There may be rows available to do this that you can't see. You can see in this example that there are hidden rows between row 23 and row 33 and between row 54 and row 61. To show these hidden rows, highlight the rows above and below the hidden rows by holding down the left button on the mouse while dragging it over the hidden rows. Next, let up the left button on the mouse and click the right button on the mouse. This will bring up a menu with an item called Unhide. Clicking the left button on the mouse when the cursor is on this option will show all hidden rows. This demonstration will now show how to add a new material or service to the drop-down menu. Click on the Materials tab to open it. Any item that you add to this tab will be included in the drop-down menus. Also, the price of any material changed on this tab will be changed in all budgets on the file. New operations may be added to these budgets as well as the new materials, but the process requires a lot of information. Please contact me if you want to add an operation not already available in the drop-down menu. Procedures to add or modify materials and operations may seem confusing, as the goal was not to create a user-friendly spreadsheet, but was rather to create budgets and facilitate updating them from one year to the next. However, modifying them is not difficult, and learning how may be profitable for those willing to spend the necessary effort. For more information, or if you have questions, send them to rwilson6 at unl.edu.